possible values that weren't in or out of range. That's what I have in my notes. Okay. Okay. And this last issue that's being raised? It was uh, concerning the message database being declared as a global object in the package spec. That's a message management procedure, so on page one. Okay, message thanks. Message management at the top of the page. Okay, I, th I think I'm caught up now. Okay, all right. Okay, so the resolution to that one. Okay, everybody, we're on the style checklist. We're on item number four, our style conventions for commentary defined and followed. Um, Dan, would you like to start? Well, yeah, I've, uh, I've got a problem here on page one with record decision. Uh, there seems to be this item remove request. This is the procedure MCGR record decision. That's uh, the one, yeah. Third procedure down. Mm -hmm. Uh, there seems to be an item called uh, remove request, and it's of in type remove request type. Well, it's not you know remove request type; it's all request types. I think this thing's been you know misnamed. I think we've got a major problem here. Is your uh, comment about uh, are you talking about a documentation point or a, or a, a programming point? Well, I think it's a combination. I think it's a it's a it's a, it's a problem of, of what that what that type really is and how you defined it in some other package where you imported that definition from. I think we should, when we get there, we should go and look at that again. You say there's something inconsistent? Yes, I think there uh, is. I don't I believe that's, that's the case. It sounds to me like you're talking about a design issue. Uh, it's something that might be up, left up to the designer. Well, I don't know. I think, I think I'm awful confused. That's all I know. Uh, I, I find it very confusing to read. Uh, Lauren, do you have any comments? Uh, yeah, I have uh, an issue to raise. Well, frankly, I have never seen documentation like this, except for maybe in my high school program. I told class. you. I, have, I can't believe that, that, that you could actually present this to us in this particular form. I'm surprised that you right. don't right have here. I gets I plus one and, 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 and document that as increments I one. These, 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 this documentation is, is absolutely and useless. So uh, I guess for implication, your code's me. better? My code is much better. You've seen the projects that my people have turned out. They're, they're great. They're on time. They're, they work well. There are very few bugs in them. And they can be maintained, which I, I couldn't maintain this. I think this is a matter of opinion. That's entirely subjective. I don't think you've made any objective comment yet. Oh, Ken, this is second grade documentation. Uh, Come I'm, on. I'm, excuse me, excuse me. As the moderator, I, I think I must remind you we're reviewing the material here and, and not, uh, not Ken. Nothing against Ken here, but um, so if we could stick to the material, I'd really appreciate it. Thanks, Tim. Well, Roger, do you have any comment? Yeah, on page two here of the uh, remove markings procedure. This is the uh, MCGV remove yes, markings yes. procedure. Yes, on the second page. Uh, I look here and I see very few comments. Uh, the comments I see here do not follow the corporate comment standards, and you know if you can't follow the simple guidelines of the corporate uh, coding convention standard. And it, no wonder the design's all screwed up. Right. Uh, so well, that I seems to me uh, a non sequitur. I mean, I, what does the design have to do with the comments? Uh, well, the, well, the point I'm making is if you can't follow simple guidelines, the company sits down and these were developed by programmers themselves. Maybe it gives me an indication of what kind of program are you. And I really got a question is this whole procedure all screwed up? Well, I, don't, I don't think that's a, a germane point. It sounds like you were being personal, which uh, you were just warned about. Maybe it. you don't understand your design because you don't have sufficient no. comments. You can't even explain it by right. documentation. Well, if you could tell me what sufficient comments were, you just keep saying about the, talking about the standard. Uh, there, give me some kind of 15 lines of code right here, and there's no damn comment. So how am I supposed to come as a new person to understand what's coming on here? Uh, you might have a point about that. I think uh, I was under the gun. Uh, uh, we, but let, let it re be recorded as a lean against the code. I mean, the Something code looks like it was written at midnight after it had six beers. Yeah, that's another personal comment. I don't think that's called for. Okay, as a moderator, what I'd like to do here is uh, record the issue uh, that is raised. And, and again, I'd like to remind you to keep the comments directed towards the, the material and, and not uh, at the person. Tim, the, the issue is... If you look at your product checklist, we have completed the completeness checklist and gone through the correctness checklist. Now we'll go to the style checklist. 
And in particular, we'll go to the one that is about the semantics of the product traceable to the requirements. And the first thing that I'd like to point out is that I believe here on page two of the removes marking procedure right here is I do not believe the code right here is traceable back to the requirement specification. So that's the first issue that I would like to, to see raised. Uh, is that, uh, excuse me, Roger, you're talking about uh, uh, configuration item H240, page two? Yes, okay. that's correct, that's correct. Lauren, do you have any issues that you would like to raise? Um, yeah, well, I, I agree uh, about this uh, traceability issue. For example, <coughs> on the annotation delete request, that is uh, procedure uh, MCGD remove annotations, okay, um, I yeah, don't right. find anything in the spec that says that the coordinator um, is you're allowed right, to right, request exactly right. to remove annotations. And so I, I'm not exactly sure why that's there. And, you know, is that creeping uh, featureism or, or what? Well, I don't understand it in relationship to the, the requirements. So I totally agree with the point you're bringing Yeah, up. I mean, it's not, it's not in the spec at all. I comb through the spec and, and in, you know, the system should not have this capability. And not only that, in order, the capability to remove annotations has far-reaching implications for, um, for problems for the down? system. Uh, that done? Uh, yes. Okay. So that, that was my, my okay. issue on, on that. Um, okay, I guess the next uh, one that concerned me about, if you look here on page two of the procedure right here, the algorithm that's specified right here seems to be quite inefficient relative to what's required in the requirement specification. Um, I just don't see that, and I, you know, I think that the algorithm needs to be redesigned and re-implemented. Does everybody have that algorithm? Which one are you talking about? Uh, the right? one here on the second page, uh, actually 547 of the code listing right here. Uh, the, first of, the first 15 lines of the procedure right here. Okay, I'm sorry, what was that comment you're saying at the, the algorithm? It's is, is very inefficient. Uh, if you look at it, it's a, it's a, it has an n, uh, n squared uh, time thing, and what we really want is one of the above order n. Okay. So I think you need to well, redesign the algorithm. We've been using this for years. I mean, I got this right out of, uh, I copied this out of uh, another guy's code. Well, the, the issue that I'm really, really raising is that the, 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 no matter if it's historical or nature, this is one in this particular application that we're going to have to fix. I believe. Oh, oh, you you think, know, I uh, don't even think that the documentation is, is, is good enough to tell whether we need order n or n squared, because I'm not even sure what this algorithm does or, or how it plays a role in the system, because the doc there isn't any documentation in this algorithm. So it may, in fact, be inefficient, but... I can't but, tell. but would you agree? Do you agree that there is a problem here, and that we should uh, reinvest it and investigate it? Certainly, if it plays an important role and it's n squared, obviously that's not going to be uh, acceptable. Okay, you got that done. Um, I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to get down. I don't know who's... Basically, the algorithm here in the first 15 lines on page two, or actually 547 of the code listing right here. Okay, in my opinion, are inefficient, and the producer should re-examine that and see if we come up with a more efficient algorithm. My contention is that it's of order n squared and it should be of an order n algorithm. Dan? Anything we want to raise? Yeah, yeah, I got something here. Uh, you know, I probably got something in edgewise here. Uh, basically on uh, 546, yes. we've got uh, a big, an if statement like in the middle. Uh, if remove request dot annotations right. are removal, I'm not sure the issue there, you know, should be in remove request, but should be rather focusing on the annotations. Ah, you're right. Okay, so it's a matter of design, and I think that uh, and, and traceability. Okay, good point. Well taken. You got that down? Uh, yeah. That's all I. I don't know. I don't know how I missed that. My, when I was looking through the code right here, I, I tried to be very complete, and I, I missed that one. So I really agree really, really, really with the point that you're making. Yeah, that's all I have to say. Man. Ah, oh, gee, do you think, Roger, maybe that uh, you know this uh, next procedure has the same problem? Uh, procedure MCGR record decision. Oh yeah, you're right. right. You're right. Mm -hmm. No, no, I would think that I, I, think I thought right. about I think it. That's exactly correct. You think so? Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. You got that one down? Um, I'm trying to figure out uh, in the minutes who should I be showing as as raising these issues here. Uh, or it doesn't make it easy. Put my name down if you want to. I mean, that's fine. Anything you want to raise? Um, I had something, but you covered it already. Oh, okay. Um, anybody any other issues here? I think we've done a pretty good job of the review. I, um, anything else?
moving on to the correctness checklist. And uh, let's just discuss the issues generally here. Uh, Lauren, would you care to start? Uh, sure. Uh, should I just give one issue at a time, Judy? Yeah, why don't you, you start doing that and okay. we'll get through real fast. All right. Well, the first thing I have in my notes on uh, the correctness is uh, on page 546 um, pertaining to the if-then statement. There's a couple of um, if-thens that are nested, and uh, I'm not quite sure if that, that level um, of nesting is necessary and, and whether you might be able to rearrange that into a case statement, which would be more understandable. I, I, I'm not sure if I missed, you know, whether there was a, there was a real strong uh, basis for nesting that I didn't see, and, and so I, I just thought I'd no, bring the point out. No, I think you're on. right. I think a case statement would be more appropriate. Okay. Dan? Yeah, I've got a comment on the same page in the uh, MC, MCGD remove annotations call. It says there, uh, remove request is remove request. Does everybody have that? Uh, anybody need a direction? Yeah. That's page okay. 546, right? Yeah, okay. that's right. I'm just questioning whether in the, in the definition of remove annotations, it really should be remove request or some larger class of requests, and here we're particularly calling it with a remove request in this particular instance of the call. I see what you're saying. Yeah, I think you're correct. I think this is too, too restrictive. Okay. Great. Um, so how would you like to word that? Well, I think, I think we should put, put it down as a concern with the definition of the remove annotations and whether the, uh, uh, there could be more requests than just remove requests. Um, there might be other operations in the future that, that this procedure could move into that it might be, make, it might be more general. Okay. So it, it sounds like it's a terminology issue and generalization issue. That's right, especially so both over time. Aspects especially of it. over time. Mm -hmm. Okay, Lauren, anything else? Uh, yeah, I was wondering if you could um, even clarify this issue because uh, I'm concerned about the, the construction of the user index type and the remove request, I'm sorry, the uh, user response type. Those are always. Uh, Critical types, type definitions, and, and usually ones that can get out of range. And uh, I was just wondering. Um, I, I thought Excuse that. Excuse me. Um, are, where where are you in this? Oh, list I'm thing? sorry. I'm sorry. I'm on page uh, page 545. Okay. Let's all get focused <coughs> there. And um, uh, there wasn't any. There wasn't any doc. I, I don't know if this is documentation or whether it's, it's a problem with the type itself, but I, I'm not exactly sure. Um, I don't feel comfortable with the, the extent of the ranges that that particular type covers, and there isn't, there isn't um, any in documentation to... So your concern is both the, the documentation and the range checking that we... Right, the documentation doesn't give me any, any yeah, ideas agree, what ranges that, that user res uh, response type should cover and, and where, in fact, and yeah. it's used. And I would think that the documentation needs to be expanded here to explain that, <clears throat> and maybe a, a delineated list right here showing the, the different types that can come into this class. Okay, yeah, that would be that nice. Yeah, that would certainly help. <coughs> do, do you have the, uh, the action and a potential uh, correction for that? Well, I have uh, documentation and, and the range coverage, <clears throat> different types of what was the, the title of this issue? Um, well, that's sufficient for a title. It's just that perhaps we should look at, at making the documentation more explicit. That's the, uh, the option for correcting this problem. Uh, Dan, anything else? Yeah, I have one more. Uh, on the last page, 547, near the bottom, with the fourth line from the bottom, there is a command is valid field. Okay, and it's been <coughs> assigned in this call the value false. I just question whether that is really a Boolean or whether in, in future uh -huh. it could be something you could have true, false, and like. Ambiguous or something like that. I think, you're, I think like you're right, Dan. I think you're right. I think this is very limited right here. I think you're right. I agree. 